Philippines versus Thailand. Who does drag better? Philippines. Philippines. We beat them at Miss Universe. We beat them at everything. Just saying. I'm no, I'm joking. Except <laughs> <laughs> of course, Philippines. <laughs> well, I haven't been to Thailand as well, yeah. but I know for a fact that Philippines is way better. Wow. But I would say they have a lot of like good supplies there. Yeah, they have uh, the good supplies. That's, <laughs> that's the team. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jiggly Caliente with the cast of Drag Race Philippines. And we are doing double takes here. Each one of us are going to take a question. We're going to answer and give you our honest, real opinion. Okay. <laughs> drag is not a respectable or real profession. So pili business is like start on drag with like impersonators being like a laughing stock for everybody. So parang it's not really respectable in some way. But now that I'm doing it, it should be respectable. It's a profession because it's a 12 to 13 hour job. Before Drag Race Philippines, we were just confined. There are only two major bars like Nectar and O Bar. There are now a lot of avenues and platforms. I was so surprised that there are many times. Oh, they're essential. And kids, imagine. And as long as we can put food in the table, then that's so fresh. You should not call me by my government name if I am in drag. It took us a lot of hours and preparation to look this good. Come on, with this hair, you call me Arthur? No one should call queens by their government name when they're in drag, especially if they're trans. So go kanila, so ilibin ko sila. For me, it, it doesn't really matter because my <laughs> real name is well, Prince. <laughs> do seasons that do not feature RuPaul get less attention from fans? Based on experience, no. no. You want and Drag Race for the Girls, not bro? Yes. I was telling Jiggly that Queens from Down Under, they told me that they love our season. Because our, our franchise is just exponentially better. Eva has a video of Sasha called the thing pop off out there. That was kind of cool. And Alaska is a huge Marina fan. I was so surprised when I was in the UK. Like, a lot of people know me. When I was in the UK, Giselle Alibi and Vita Bagger recognized me as Smile of the Season. Called me Corazon. And I was like, oh my God, do you know? Oh, yeah, I have best and best in everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Drag in the Philippines is comparable to animals in a zoo. What? Huh. Che Che. <laughs> Corazon. <laughs> Well, maybe during DragCon, with our own booth. Yeah, like, yeah. In the zoo, technically. <laughs> I mean, it depends on who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely we can all answer the turtle, the gorilla, <laughs> the pig, and the monkey. You b****, you heard it right. I'm kidding. Slowly but surely, they're becoming more mainstream. The more people see that there's money to be made, they're gonna take these girls seriously. After Drag Race, maraming corporate events or even like brands to put drag on their uh, organizations. Me, Precious, and Morgana, we are ambassador for UNICEF for the vaccines. Brigadine, Nivea, Minty, and Marina are on Mac, and you're in the TV show. Yeah. Okay, here's her question candidate number two, Jiggly Caliente. <laughs> the LGBTQ plus community is only sees as the comedic relief or the sidekick. That notion is long gone. Vice Ganda has proven that she's not just a sidekick. She is the box office queen of the Philippines. I wish though, they would give more serious roles to the LGBT True. community. With it, Wish Kula, it's a show in the Philippines, and they hired us drag queens to be like a sidekick. And I told them like moving forward, they should stop doing the gay guys, the best friend of the lead, because we're more than that. We have our own characters, we have our own stories. Especially when Khaled Garin won Best Supporting Actress. Yeah. Last Metro Manila Film Festival together with Silhouette. I feel like that could be on the horizon for the Filipino actors as well. Philippine drag artists have to overcome more obstacles than drag artists in other countries. As a drag artist in the Philippines, it's definitely hard. I think I can attest to that for you girls. I feel like it is a little bit harder in the Philippines for drag artists just like the resources are very limited certain things are just easier to grab here in the western world i'm wearing an american dress i'm wearing a thigh shoes so yeah it's really hard pasalubong lagi yes pasalubong what's ah, the word ate bilambeng well, my name is corazon i'm turing jiggly caliente and prince and we are from Drag Race Philippines. Season 1, Episode 1. Season 1, Episode 2. Episode 4! You click on the best! I finally made it all the way to the end. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on my socials. It's at Corazon Filipinas. And you can also find her at the Manila Zoo. Ah.
You can find me on all social media platforms under the name Turing Quinto. You could find me on Instagram at Jiggly Caliente Official. You can find me everywhere, even Kumu at Prince Moreau. True, I have Kumu too. Same. I have an Akumu account. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.